So the weather's changed. It definitely has. <laughs> Obviously the cold literally just descended on us, hasn't it? It was literally 30 degrees one day, 10 degrees the next. It just disappeared, didn't it, the warm? Yeah, it doesn't have. So obviously we're all indoors now because we're all feeling a bit sort of knackered. You might, you can't see it, but we've got the fire on behind us. It's that, it just literally just dropped that cold and I'm in thermals. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be indoor work. We did try doing a bit of work in the garden yesterday and it was just so cold. And it was not just getting was a bit of one at the G, you just couldn't. Yeah, 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 it was freezing. And I'll show you what we're up to. So, obviously I've come in the 401 bedroom. This is like one of my favorite rooms. And this is Terry's little workshop for the day with his little fire on. Yeah, I've got my little fire on. But it's so good, it's kicking out so much heat, it's lovely. I know, it's lovely. I've I might just sit here. My little table set up. So my task today is to start looking at rewiring all of our lights. So we've got the, salon, uh, the chandelier for the salon. Yeah. That needs doing. Got the chandelier for the hallway. We've got all of the lights. I didn't realise the match pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've got all of the lights for the hallway, uh, the bedroom. All, is it about 25 of them we've got? Something like that, Terry. Yeah. <laughs> but I also find it bizarrely interesting that they use wood. Well, it's, to be honest, it's um, one of the best, obviously. Insulators. Yeah, for it. So, I know, it's crazy, but. <laughs> Hey ho, we won't argue with it. Are you keeping the wood? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> We're keeping it original. Original. So, yes, this is my task. And then we've got all of these ones, which these are... I like them ones. Yeah, they're really simple. And I don't think people would normally ever pick lights like this for doing a renovation, really, would they? Because they're not really that they're extravagant. They're not fancy, they're not but... beautiful. Well, they are beautiful in their own way, aren't they? They're just... They're Quaint. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a completely different style yeah. from everything else, but they'll be perfect for the room. Well you're going with a gentleman's quarters in there, aren't you? So it's very Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it ship esque? Would you have these on little boats? I'm guessing so. So I'm gonna crack on with this one first, get this sorted, and then go from there. And I'll see you later. See you soon. So one chandelier down, chandelier number two underway. So we've got the other one done. It's all been wired up, looking absolutely spectacular. It's all been checked over by an electrician. So we're happy with it. We know it's gonna be good and we'll have some light in that room. So it's gonna be really exciting. And I think again, 
just to see lights on, not just the third floor, even just for people passing by to see a light on and, and just to see work going. Like we go into the local town and people pull us, always seeing you've done this, you've done that. So it's really nice. Um, and it just means that we know we're moving forward. We know we are anyway. But this is the second one that Paul is underway with right now. And this one is dirty, dirty, dirty. Um, so I was looking at it there before we, we started filming. And I actually thought it was two different types of metal. I thought this had been redone at one point because this is so dirty and this is so clean. Just to give you an example of like how dirty it is. These are the same metal. I hope the camera's picking it up, but they look like two completely different metals. So the magical ingredient Paul has been using for this one is ketchup, which you guys suggested to do it with. And it's a lot cheaper than Brasso, so we'll be using ketchup from now on to do all our brass things that Terry has, because he has a lot of them. Um, but it's looking absolutely superb. So she's getting on with this now. She's cleaning it down with Terry's toothbrush, making sure it's all done nicely. And we'll be able to get them up and yeah, get some warmth brought back into the chateau. And I'll show you around what we're up to. So while Terry's getting the chandelier sorted in the 400 suite, perfect time to introduce you to the sponsor here, which is Xsense. We've partnered with these guys because they've got an innovative way to keep the chateau safe for us. Um, we've got a combined smoke alarm and carbon monoxide detector. So we've got four of these in total to go out throughout the second floor and they're all interlinked. Um, they all speak to each other. If an alarm goes off in one room, it'll set the alarm off in all the rooms so that we can evacuate the shuttle safely if there is a problem with smoke or carbon monoxide. And it's an ideal solution for us because we don't want to be running ugly wires everywhere. Um, and with them being wireless, with them speaking to each other, it's just the absolute perfect solution for us. So check out the link in the description. There'll be some fantastic discount codes. They are a fantastic product. We've looked at them, we've tried them. We just have to get them up now. Look at this, chandelier up, wall lights on, and now we have colour going in with the green, look at this. Hi Terry. Hello. How's it going? It's long. <laughs> Why haven't you got a bigger paintbrush? It's not a good find. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, it's, to be honest, this is probably one of my most favourite jobs that we've done at the moment. Out of everything. Really? Yeah, just because it's it's finally bringing it all together now. Um, you start to see your vision come to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's obviously so nice. It's cold outside. We've got the fire on in here. We've got the chandelier on. We've got some amazing music on. 
I found an amazing playlist which is called Cafe French Fem- Cafe Lounge yeah. on Apple Music. So it's so just relaxing and um, to work in here and to crack on. Me and Terry don't normally like the same music and neither does his mum and neither does Paul, but we're all Everyone loves it. in tune with this one, aren't we? Yeah, so all I'm doing is I'm going around all of these details just to obviously highlight them in gold. Now the reason I'm painting it on and we're not using gold leaf is gold leaf is just too um it's just it's too much. Too much, yeah. But what we're trying to create is the look from obviously the grand staircase when it got refitted on the RMS Olympic. Now back then obviously it would have been hand painted with all gold. Um, and we're trying to recreate that look as authentic as we can really. So we're getting the paints, obviously the paint that we painted on, we painted the, the final coat on with paint brushes. Reason being is obviously you get those brush strokes in. They didn't have rollers back then like that. So we've done it with a paintbrush to give you all of these little tiny details just to make it feel like you're back in sort of like the, the 1900s really. Like this room is that sort of period. The other one is the 1800s. So it just gives you a different sort of era with each room that you're going to. Stepping back in time into different rooms and yeah. different worlds. Different worlds. So that's why we've got the picture lights, we've got the gold on. This is going to be like a really nice sort of comfortable, elegant, um, gentleman's sort of lounge feel. Uh, so. People not here, you don't understand how warm and cosy this room is yeah. right now. It is out of this world. I think like just getting it changed from the um, the blue, which was also on the decor, and we've got the green on, and um, it is just looking amazing. So we're going to have to do two coats on the gold, um, just to give it the finish that we want. And again, obviously we're painting it on because we're wanting that sort of look that it's, it's been hand painted. It's not like a mass produced thing. This is all being done by hand. So that's why it's, it is what it is. But these are the small details that people, it, it just all adds to the sort of the effect really, um, every little bit. So that'll be worth it in the end. And also we're just using a gold that Rob got us, which is just amazing. And um, it's called Trish Gold. So yeah, it's amazing. And the colour in the hallway is Roman white. <laughs> it's not Magnolia, as I've keeps on saying. No, I've just said, I've just said that. <laughs> I know, I just said it's closer, like it's closer to a creamy colour than a Magnolia. <laughs> it's deeper. Yeah. yeah, well if you haven't seen it, check it out on Authentico on their um, website. So you can actually see what we're talking about and let us know what you think. It's definitely what, not white and it's not Magnolia, so... It's in between. No, it's... <laughs> Nonsense. Right, I'll let you crack on and leave Patrick to stay near the fire. Yeah, enjoy the fire.
So Terry has worked absolute wonders in the salon. I can't believe how good it looks. He's got his first coat of gold paint on. Um, it, I can't tell you like the, the smiles and the glee, everyone that's seen it so far, everyone that he has just seen it and just beamed with joy just to see in this place come back to life and look at it. It's, I'm lost for words at how good it looks. Um, I know the camera doesn't pick up as good as what it does look and what it feels as well. So to have a little fire on, to have a light on in here, the chandeliers up, it's looking absolutely amazing. And you can imagine this room now, you can you can place yourself sat here in front of the cosy fire. I think we might move in over winter test because it's, it's so nice and cosy in here. Um, it's, it's just done the job. And, and again, this is, this is gonna be, Hopefully the first room completed. We've sorted the stain out for the bottom. That's the next job to do in here now. And again, this has to be done before we get the floor sorted. Um, so we're gonna look at getting that done, getting everything. Paul's got all the doors sorted. So the doors will be going back on soon and this will all start coming together. And Terry can get his furniture in um, and, and just start dressing the room and pictures on the walls, everything. It's just gonna be so nice. And like I say, we're in a, this is a nice place to be now. This is some of the nice jobs to get done and, and to see all the hard work that's gone on since February this year. This is like nearly nine, 10 months worth of work that's gone into this. So to, to see it at this point now, I, like I say, it's just, it is completely unbelievable. And just the detail in here and all the little jobs that might not have seemed like much that we've done over the year that literally turned into help this room turn into, and there's been so many people involved. It's been friends, family, everything that's actually got us to this stage. And we can't thank them enough because, again, it's just just a wonderful room now. So I hope you've enjoyed it. We've really enjoyed it. We're, we're loving this stage of things and we love bringing it to you. And it, it does bring genuine smiles and glee to us to see it like this. If you have liked it, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and make sure you have the bell click for notifications. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. If you'd like to be part of our journey, and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.